Students at Brunel University held a charity football tournament to raise money for vulnerable children in third world countries. The money raised on the day went towards the charity Childreach International, who aimed to tackle child malnutrition and illiteracy in the poorest parts of the world. The tournament, which was modelled on the African Cup of Nations, saw over 70 students take part, each representing one of 13 different African countries. Bismarck Ajipong was representing the country of his birth, Ghana. I know how it feels, you know, not, not to have, you know, clean water and other stuff, how you have to fetch water from kilometres away. You know, it's a privilege to be here in U in UK, supporting, knowing, knowing that my help here will be of need or uh, will be of great help to someone back home in Africa. Whilst the weather was a world away from that of sunny Gabon, where the real tournament is being hosted, the competitive spirit remained the same. However, event organiser Jay Bradley was keen to stress that the event took weeks of planning. We started in um, like January time planning it. Um, we had to obviously put like, flyers out and stuff. We used Facebook, we used Instagram, we used Twitter, and like just phone calls and stuff. We a big tournament going in Africa at the moment, which just made sense to, uh, obviously if it was near the summer, we might pick the Euros or the World Cup, but there's so many charities out there, but I, I think child abuse, because also children, they're like vulnerable, like individuals, so it's important to sort of help them out. And then today, hopefully, if everyone's paid, we could raise over £200 for child reach. Child reach International's vision of a world where all children can fulfil their potential was definitely not lost on the players. With one student in particular, Joel Taki, aiming to take Brunel's fundraising to new heights by climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in August. With players who gave their all in the name of charity, the event managed to raise £162. The Gambia saw off the competition and were crowned champions on the day.